You don't owe them anything. You don't owe them anything. This is the word that I hear the Lord saying today. You don't owe them anything. There's some of you, you have made some mistakes in your life. You have tried your best to make it right. You have come to the Lord to, for forgiveness. You've gone to other people and asked them for forgiveness. But they don't want to forgive you that easy. Granted, people have a right to feel how they feel. Especially, it depends on what you did. But then you have others that want to enslave you. You have others that want to become your warden. Okay? And you got to jump through hoops and you have to go through being debased. You have to go through explaining over and over again what. And you have to go through walking on eggshells, having egg on your face. Um, you know, have the anvil dropped on you every now and then because remember what you did. I hear God saying you owe them nothing. Who the son has set free is free indeed. And if I have forgiven you and you have made efforts to try to make things right, then God says, leave it there. There are people that like to punish. There are people that enjoy making you pay. There are people that want to go through the archives. There are people who want to go through exhibit A, B, C, D, Z. There are people that want to run the clip on you. There's people that wants to canvas the area regarding your case, okay? There are people that are just that way. Bottom line, they are hateful. Bottom line, they are very unforgiving. Bottom line is just a new breed of humanity coming up these last days. And what I hear God saying, you are free. You are free. Whether they forgive you or not, you are free. Whether they believe you or not, you are free. Because a lot of you are putting yourself in prisons by still sitting there going through all these things because yes, you were wrong for what you did, but now this person wants to enslave. And a lot of times it's all the Christians. God is saying, you are free. I have forgiven you. And if I, if I, listen, when you ask the Lord to forgive you, I also encourage you to sit there and hear God to see if there's something else he wants you to do. Sometimes it's not just about you asking for forgiveness. What if God wants you to apologize? What if God wants you to, you know, restore something, okay? Especially let's say you took something. Maybe God will say, listen, you need to do X, Y, Z, right? And sometimes all God wants you to do is acknowledge your sin because maybe you're not in a position to restore anything. And he knows that. You don't want you going out there trying to sell crack cocaine and get money, right? But then you have people that just want to keep you in this place of sorrow. They want to keep you in this place of just, oh, I'm so sorry. No, God's saying this is not of me and do not allow it. God is saying, I don't care who it is. It can be someone in the church high up. God is saying, I've not called you to lay at anyone's feet. I have not called you to allow anyone to put you through the ringer. You have been forgiven by me and that's all there is to it. You owe them nothing. You owe them nothing. And I see some of you, there's a bunch of people around you that's trying to make you feel a certain way because of your mistake. It's like they're just closing in on you and trying to pressure you to make a decision about something, to cause you to bow down, to cause you to feel guilt. They don't feel like you should be happy. <sighs> I see some of these people, it's your tax money. Your tax money has come in, you have it. And some people are making you feel bad for maybe certain things that you you were able to buy. I see some of you actually not even wanting to get the things that you plan to buy. You, you're afraid to buy yourself new furniture. You, you're afraid to buy the new bed you wanted. You afraid to get the things that you wanted to get and maybe not even taxes alone but some of you just with your own funds you you gotta hide stuff because you don't want people to see what you have and then they're gonna guilt you for having it and make you feel bad for buying something because now you gotta buy them something and sometimes you sitting there buying everybody something barely have enough money and giving them money out of your little bit okay because they're guilting you because of what you did that time. God is saying, I've set you free. You owe them nothing. You owe them nothing. 
in no way is that saying you disrespect people and treat people like they're nothing but God is saying I have forgiven you for your sin and when I forgive you for your sin it is a clean slate it's as if it never happened so if they want to live in that place let them live there on their own stop paying rent stop renting a room stop renting a spot of your life and your time and your heart to these things because it's going to become to such a level that it's going to kill you your heart is becoming pained and you're getting paranoid and you're feeling guilt for enjoying yourself that's a trick of the devil that you feel guilt to enjoy things in life things that you have worked for you feel bad about it because of that time when you were in high school and you stole your daddy's car and that time because you were such a troublesome child your families remind you that over and over again and so now you got to be paying them off big time I don't think so. God is saying, you owe them nothing. He has forgiven you. You give as you are able. You give as you can. You enjoy the things that God has blessed your hands to enjoy. You get out of these circles that's trying to hold you down and keep you prisoner. Walk in the confidence wherein Christ has made you free and do not be entangled again. Walk in the liberty, the confidence. I put confidence in there, but walk in the liberty wherein Christ has set you free and do not be entangled again in the yoke of bondage. God says you owed him nothing. This is the word of the Lord today.